Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. I'm back with another track guide on the channel at Le Mans in the Group 1 car. We're driving the Porsche for this. This is for the upcoming GT World Series race, the Nations race at Le Mans in Group 1 obviously. So you have a choice of I think four cars. I've chose to do this guide in the Porsche because I believe the Porsche is the best car for qualifying and probably the race as well. So yeah, if you do enjoy these videos, please do hit the like button and subscribe. It massively helps me out on the channel and I do appreciate it a lot. So yeah, let me know in the comments as well if it's helped you out because I always like reading them comments. So for reference, this lap is using the racing medium tires and we have default setup on and BOP on. Now, one thing you do need to bear in mind that this car currently has a very strange aerodynamics. It is running some severe downfalls. You'll see very low top speed on the straights, but insane speed through the corners, like a little bit too fast in my opinion. I think even an F1 car would struggle to take the speed that this car is taking through the corner. So bear that in mind if you watching this guide in the future, it might have changed slightly depending on changes in physics and updates and stuff like that. So starting your lap, make sure you get a good solid exit off that final corner. Make sure you stay in fourth gear as well. Helps the hybrid really kick in down this straight. So now we're gonna get the car over to the right hand side of the track because we obviously wanna be on the right hand side for the braking zone into the first chicane. So using that total board on the right hand side, that is a very good brake reference that you can use to help you know, for your judgment of slowing the car down. You can brake incredibly late with this car because it's not going as fast into the corners. That is one point to remember with this thing. So we're gonna go down to third gear and what you're gonna see we're gonna do is we're gonna try and use the full width for the track. So using the curb on the right hand side and getting the car into left. Now you can take quite a bit off the curb on this game on this track compared to GT Sports. So you can see a little bit off the curb here and then we're going to go up to fourth gear and look how early we're getting on that throttle and look how much we take off that corner quite a lot of margin there we take quite a lot of chunk off the corner which gives us really good exit speed now we're working into this left hand corner and you're going to see just as we get the car in a straight line we're going to get on the brakes and downshift to fifth gear now i actually turned in a fraction too early here you're going to see i actually hit the curb a little bit too aggressively that's going to lose me a bit of momentum but luckily i keep my foot planted on the throttle and we still managed to take some speed through the exit. But you can see the ghost pulls a little bit away. So a 10th loss there. But now this corner is non-existent now on this with this car. You're going to see, you're just aiming for the apex basically. So just chuck it in. And you don't need to worry about track limits at all with this car through there. Because it's so, so quick. And so, so much downforce. Now we're working our way on the straight. Now one thing I would say is wait until you're about 184 to 185 miles per hour before changing into 7th gear. That is the optimal way to do it, I think. Now into the next braking zone, you're gonna see, we're looking to break past the number one board. Now look how late we're braking here into this corner. That's because we're only going 187 miles per hour. So we're braking just past the number one board. And again, we're gonna take quite a big chunk off this apex of this corner. So almost aiming for the middle of the car to go over that curb. And then again, for this part, doing the exact same thing, almost aiming for the middle of the car to go over that curb. Your left-hand side just to be on the left-hand side of the curb, there you can see. And then on the power, as early as we can in fourth gear, and powering your way out. Again, straight here, you want to almost straight line over the curb here to reduce the distance that you're traveling. So don't follow the racetrack, go straight over and then work your way again into this next chicane. And again, about 185, change gear into seventh gear. And then again, we're gonna be braking just past the one board on the right hand side. Again, really late. Normally you'd be braking before that one board, but we're braking past it. And we're gonna, again, take quite a big chunk off this left hand side. So using your left hand side to almost skim the edge of the left hand curb there. So left hand tire onto the edge of the left hand curb. And again, rotate the car through the corner using the braking inputs to help with the rotation. And then back on the throttle very early, you can see again, right hand tire onto that curb on the right hand side and then power very early in fourth gear you can see it on the power super early because you want to get that hybrid kicking in and again you want to take as much of a straight line as possible through this section here just to again you'll gain half a tenth now every half tenth you gain is really important now working your way up this straight, we're not going to go into seventh gear on this straight because there's no point because you're not going to hit the limiter anyway so we aim to break just where that cone is on the left or the kink in the corner that's pretty much where you're getting on the brakes so make sure you break a little bit earlier rather than later because you don't want to be braking so late that you go off into the gravel in the background. Now we're going to use the full width for the track again to help rotate the car through here. So down into second gear, but before we get into the apex, we're going to go back up to third gear. You see there, back up to third gear on the power aggressively and again up to fourth gear. And then you let that hybrid kick in all the way down this straight. Now, I actually changed gear too early here. You can see I changed to seventh gear at 181. That, lose, that loses you about two tenths, three tenths of a second. And I was a bit annoyed at myself, but 
for a track guide, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you just accelerate to 185 when you're doing your lap. Now we're gonna be working our way into this section where as soon as the car's straight, I start getting on the brakes well before that number one board. You can see the line there with the little bit of tarmac on the right as well. Brake well well before them. Now we're gonna go through this corner in fourth again. We wanna rotate this car in using the full width of the track and trying to concentrate on exit speed. So on the throttle early, and you can see that ghost is actually, we're gonna see it in the mirror in a minute. It's caught me up massively there because of that mistake with the gear shift. Now we're going to be using the number one board, braking before the number one board. You can see braking inputs going in there nice and early, making sure you're giving your skill plenty of time to slow the car down and get it rotated. And again, through this corner, you're going to see we're down to second gear. But as we go into the apex, we're going to go back up to third gear for more exit speed. So up to third gear, let that hybrid kick in and then get the car straightened up. Not perfect there, we could have done that a little bit better. And now working our way up this hill into this pretty insane section. This is completely flat out now just keep your eye on the inputs on the steering inputs because this is vital through this section it's all about being smooth and gentle do not lift off the throttle at all though this car has got insane downfall so just taking the shortest lines really and the smoothest lines through here again into the apex nice and smooth then back over to the right hand side to try and get the car narrow into this apex and then again this is all about being smooth so you can see smooth inputs as the car straightens up back over to the left hand side Use the forward for the track and just no lifting off the throttle at all. Absolutely insane downforce on this car, on this game. It's a little bit too much in my personal view. Right, now we're going into the final sector here. Braking. Just as the two white lines split off there, we're going to break pretty much dead on where that red line is there. So that's your reference. You see, braking reference, braking going in there. And again, I'm going to go down to fifth gear. Now, I could have took a little bit more off this curb on the left-hand side than what I did. I only took a tiny bit off. You can actually see you can be quite aggressive on this line through there, but I wasn't aggressive enough. Down to fourth gear, and then we're going to briefly go down to third gear as we rotate the car from the right-hand side to the left. So we watch the gearing. We're going to go onto the brakes, down to third, then back up to fourth before we hit the curb because we want the car to be stable and get that acceleration out the exit. So you can see we're on the accelerator there. Back off the accelerator. Then, again, before we hit the curb, off the accelerator. And then as soon as we're over the curb, we're back on that accelerator. So, yeah, it's all about just lifting and being very cautious on the curb and then powering your way over the line for a pretty solid 3 minute 15.3. Now, I'm pretty sure we could get that well into the 14s. We made quite a few errors on that lap. Let's watch this lap now from the chase camera. And you'll really see what I'm talking about with the way you, you know, you can cut some of these corners a little bit more. So particularly this corner up here, you can see how I didn't really take enough off the first part. Um, could have took a little bit more off there. But look at this, completely over the corner apex and you can get away with it. So make sure you're utilizing that because you'll get a lot of exit speed by doing that. And it will gain you quite a lot of time in qualifying. So again, through here, that little mistake on the curb lost me about a tenth or so. But then it's completely flat through here. You can see this is so easy flat. You don't even need to worry about the exit corner getting a penalty there so that is going to be a real benefit for this car when it comes to the race because it's just got so much downforce that you're just going to be able to not worry too much about getting some of them exit penalties that you do with other cars again through the chicane using the full width using the curbs as well really important to you know take an early line in again you'll see it here over the curb on the left rotate the car over the curb on the right and then straight line the car for the shortest distance and then back onto that straight and then into this corner up here, you're going to see again, it's all about picking that braking reference, getting the car rotated, using the full width for the track on entry, and then on that power as early as you can. So important with this car to get that hybrid going. And then we did that weird gear shift here, which lost me quite a bit of time. But through here, maybe braked a fraction early, but it's probably better to brake a slight bit earlier than it is to brake late, because otherwise you end up in that gravel. Again, using that 50 boards on the left-hand side, braking just short of that. Rotate the car in, early upshift to third gear. Could have done that a bit better. You see, I ran a little bit wide couldn't get on the throttles early and probably lost another 10th or two there so again through here this is just incredible to watch at full speed you can see no lifting at all it's just completely flat out and it's just insane levels of downforce like i say i do expect this to get patched so if you're watching this in the future do remember that this has possibly been patched and i very much doubt this will be like this throughout the entire life of the game with this car because it's a little bit too um fast through high speed corners in my view but you can see down to fifth gear we could have took more off the curb there maybe gained half a tenth but we did this final section pretty well that final chicane pretty solid there over the line and yeah a pretty reasonable lap for a track guide hopefully that'll help you out let me know in the comments if it does and i'll see you all for more videos soon and live streams thanks again for watching everyone